Hey guys, Scare9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. Before we start today's video, I want to go ahead and thank everyone who came out to my stream yesterday. I had a lot of fun, and I think it went really well. If you are one of the individuals who missed it but still want to see it, I will be uploading the entire thing onto my YouTube channel later today, so make sure you keep checking back for that. But let's go ahead and get into what I actually wanted to talk about in this video, brand new weapons coming with the Rise of Iron. So in the past couple of days, we have received a lot of brand new information on exotic weapons that we will be receiving with the new expansion. Today I wanted to go ahead and take a look at some of these as well as show you guys some of the brand new ornaments and legendary weapons that we will be getting as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first new exotic that we got to see is the brand new SIVA Pulse Rifle. This seems to come with the Outlaw perk, and the exotic perk is that whenever you get a headshot, SIVA particles explode from the enemy you kill and seek out other nearby enemies. Now this was not confirmed, but I think that this may actually be the raid weapon. Now we have never seen a raid weapon before a DLC has launched before, however the SIVA theme and the overall feel of this weapon really makes me think it might be just that. The next weapon we got to see is actually a brand new exotic sidearm called the Trespasser. This is a pretty futuristic looking sidearm that shoots 3 round bursts just like the Dreg's Promise. However, this weapon looks like you can actually use it unlike the Dreg's Promise, especially at close to medium ranges. Now we did not see anything that hinted toward this weapon's exotic perk, however, even without the exotic perk in the background gameplay, it seems to be a really good sidearm. The next exotic weapon is one that Bungie has actually been teasing for the last couple of months. This is the brand new Nadir machine gun called the Nemesis Star. In the Vidoc, we actually got to see the entire perk tree for this weapon, and from this shot you can see that this weapon comes with two amazing machine gun perks, those being Spray and Play and Perfect Balance. Now we weren't shown what the exotic perk does, however if you look at the symbol for the perk, it is just a rangefinder logo with the letter N in it, and based on the weapon stack card, you can see that the Nemesis Star actually has really bad range, so I think it is safe to assume that the exotic perk will somehow fix this by giving it a bonus to range in some form. Now those were all of the exotic weapons we got to see, but I want to go ahead and take a look at the brand new Trials of Osiris weapons. As you can see from this clip, the brand new Trials weapons are blue and gold to match the brand new armor. However, in some of the shots we actually got to see the same weapons with a black and gold color scheme. This makes me think that once again we will be able to get exclusive reskinned weapons from going flawless, which is pretty awesome as it gives me something else to strive for in the endgame of Destiny. Finally, I want to go ahead and talk about some of the brand new ornaments that we will get to see. So first we got to see the Nemesis Star's two brand new ornaments. The first makes the weapon look all worn down in grey, which is alright, it's not the best looking thing, and the other one makes this machine gun a bright red color. Then we got to see the Monte Carlo's two ornaments, the first of which makes it gold plating and looks absolutely stunning, and the second one is less appealing to me and it turns it a Suros black and red color scheme. Finally, we got to see the two ornaments for the Hawk Moon. The first turns it gray and makes the barrel covered in blood, which is pretty awesome looking, but the second is definitely my favorite of all the ornaments thus far, as it turns the body of the Hawk Moon black and makes the feather decals an amazing gold color. So those are all of the brand new exotic, legendary, and weapon ornaments that we got to see in this Vidoc. Let me know what you guys are most looking forward to down in the comment section below. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you're interested in seeing my complete YouTube setup, you can click the annotation on screen. Finally, subscribe for more awesome Destiny content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.